Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick unboxing and review for you of this ideal USA window tablet. This is uh, running Windows 8.1. During my review, I will be using Windows 8.1 and uh, at the end, I probably will upgrade Windows 10 to see how it works. So it came in a nice little package like this. Uh, not much information outside, just uh, some uh, small specification here. And you have a Windows 8.1, you have Intel Bay Trail processor, 8 inch IPS screen at uh, 1280 by 800, powerful personal system, not sure what that is about, 16 gigabyte of flash, and then and a USB and an intuitive voice control. So it came in this nice little small package. Uh, got a little magnetic flap here. Go ahead and open it up. So earlier today I cheated a little bit and uh, opened it already to just go ahead and charge the device. Uh, they recommend you charge for about 10 hours so I went ahead and did that. And uh, you can see here there is a screen protector. And go ahead and take this guy off. Feel really nice. Here we go. There you go. And uh, that is the tablet to sell. So I'm gonna put it to the side here for a second. Let's see what else comes at the bottom. And you can see down here, you got a little small user menu, similar to the Android version. Here are some uh, little small instruction, not much down. We have here a little power brick. It's a micro USB charge. Uh, let's see here. Look like a micro USB cable and a small on the go cable here also. So here is the device. You can see you got your camera right here, and then you got your window key here. Again, this is a plastic screen similar to the other Android version. On this side, we have a micro SD card, microphone, headphone jack, another 2 megapixel camera here, and then the micro USB charging uh, port. Again, uh, these 2 megapixel camera from the Android version were not very good, so I don't expect this to be any better. At the bottom here, we have the power button and the volume up and down. And then uh, this version here also have a backfire speakers. So at least we have now the volume up and down in this version here. So a pretty cool little tablet. Let's just uh, go ahead and turn it on and see what's going on here. So there is the Ideal USA logo. So this is the first time setup. We're gonna go ahead and set this up and I'm gonna start using it. Of course the screen is very responsive, which is very good. Um, I have to check to see, I believe this is the Neo Bay Trail processor. That's the quad core, similar to my Lenovo tablet over there. Uh, so this tablet features Wi-Fi that is uh, basically BG and N. Uh, we do not have uh, AC wireless on here, so there's no 5 gigahertz on here. So as you should see here, this is your normal desktop. It's synced with the rest of my window device. So you can see here, I have the same background as the other window device. So you can see here, here is the uh, information on it, the spec. So this is using Intelligent Atom processor. This is the quad-core uh, Z3735G at uh, 1.3 gigahertz. There is your 1 gig of RAM and it's running a Windows 32 bit. Uh, so far, I've been using this device for about uh, 3 or 4 weeks now, almost a month, I think. And uh, so far, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, as a small little window device, uh, this does everything your regular computer does. The only difference is that it only has 1 gig of RAM, so multitasking is slightly limited. Uh, using this to browse the web, here are some of the apps you can see that I use. Mostly, uh, I have uh, OneNote, I have some games here that I tested out, and I have photos. You know, and browsing the web just work fine. Uh, I stick with the Internet Explorer browser because I didn't want to use install Chrome in here and because Chrome is very heavy loaded. Besides using this as a productivity, I have some uh, small game that you can play such as, uh, you know, cut the rope here. It's run pretty smooth, but if you try to play a really high advanced game, uh, it won't work at all. And a uh, game like almost a Steam game won't even low on here. So yeah, um, you cannot use this as a full window computer per se, not for gaming purpose. So you just how loud the speaker get, as you can see. Put my hand over down, kind of block it. Of course, it's a backfiring speaker, so you know if you use your hand like this, you can route to the front. Uh, again, this screen is actually a pretty decent screen. The viewing angle is pretty good on it, and it's pretty vibrant right now, as you can see here. Uh, for the brightness, I have it set about midway down, as you can see. So we can crank all the way up here if we want to. Very bright screen, as you can see. And uh, so yeah, it usually go into automatic mode and it uh, switch about to that area right now. Anyway, uh, you can see here the game is uh, pretty clean, run pretty smooth. Use a simple game doesn't require a lot, so kind of give you an idea now. So overall, as a window tablet, I'm pretty happy with it, and uh, it works quite well. The uh, one gigabyte RAM will let you run some of the application, but you cannot run a lot of them. So here I have my Lenovo Mix, and this tablet is also an eight-inch tablet. Uh, this has 2 gigs of RAM and definitely it's a little bit smoother and run a little bit nicer. The hardware in this is also a little bit better, metal backing instead of plastic, so it definitely is a better device. So the two problem I have with this device is that the button, the power button here is very smushy while the uh, device sometimes does not properly uh, go to sleep and it just randomly die and force me to do a hard reboot. 
Uh, this device on the other hand works flawlessly. If you leave it in standby mode, uh, the battery will last for about two days. Uh, so you know, it's just windows, it's drain battery kind of bad. Other than that, if you just shut it down, you can use it, uh, you can turn it on the next time, it will take about 30 seconds to come on and you'll be good to go. Uh, or just uh, use it, you can watch a movie with a little bit of level of a battery. I think it goes for about four or five hours on screen. Um, so that's, that's not too bad at all. Um, using you can see here uh, website load pretty fast and uh, yeah overall I'm really happy with this device uh, for less than uh, for less than 100 bucks it's definitely a bargain to get something uh, just nice uh, the uh, only disadvantage here I think is the one gigs of RAM I think if it has two gigs of RAM it will be pretty good uh, the screen uh, is plastic but yeah it works fine uh, the viewing angle on it is good the speaker is crappy and the camera is crappy but you know camera is not a big of a thing for me on tablet so it doesn't really bother me that much so I hope we showed a little review, hope you in your purchase decision. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you. Mm -hmm.